Okay, and something I just noticed is they released a 93 McDavid. I was really sick yesterday on Thursday, so I don't know if this came out yesterday, but holy shit, that's insane. 93 McDavid, 92 Pedersen, 89 Barzell. I bet that 89 Barzell card is insane. We got to go take a look at these right now. So as I predicted, this Matt Barzell card is 96 speed. Pretty insane. Though on elite edges as well, he's going to feel even that much better with his skating. Nothing else really stands out. He has actually really low wrist shot accuracy, and silver ankle breaker is ass in my opinion. Where the fuck do I find the play of the year cards, man? All right, so McDavid got an upgrade to 93. That means his team of the year card got a free upgrade to 93. I think that's the first one that came out. Kind of pissed because Kachuk had like a four point night the other night and he didn't get an upgrade. Like what the hell? They're just meat riding McDavid. 97 speed in Excel, 98 wrist shot accuracy. <laughs> what really stands out is silver all alone. Now he kind of took the puck in like he had like a nasty Gino the other night. I don't know if you saw i thought it was off sides but i guess it wasn't um but yeah he has all alone now exceptional power and accuracy on all penalty shots and breakaways that's really cool because it's only 2 ap like throw that on for 2 ap like that's that's really fucking cool silver unstoppable force is great i feel like puck on a string will combo really well with all alone as well because you're getting that exceptional power and accuracy on penalty shots and breakaways which will also combo well with puck on a string because you're getting that advanced deking so him on a breakaway he'll probably just be unreal and for any card to get all alone mcdavid is what you want because he's one of the fastest cards in the game and he'll just burn by people now i don't see a wheels on this card he would be that much better if he had silver wheels but still a really good card 96 stick checking too and he also has close quarters like pretty crazy um yeah i I'm kind of pissed I didn't get the team of the year McDavid because he just got a free upgrade. I do have his X-Factor card, so I'm sure his X-Factor card will go up. Let's see his X-Factor card. Yeah, so 93, not much of a difference here. Uh, just a little bit better wrist shot accuracy. Yeah, nothing too crazy here. Oh shit, yeah, no, no, some new Hutverse cards dropped. Let's take a look. All right, yo, to start off, we got some new Hutverse cards. Looks like we got Chris Pronger as a center, Alex Ovechkin as a defenseman, Brent Burns as a right wing. That's kind of cool. Aaron Ekblad as a left wing, and Ryan O'Reilly as a left defenseman. So pretty cool there. Uh, we'll start off with the Aaron Ekblad card. All right, so he's going to be six foot four, 215 pounds, so he's, he's really big, and he has 91 speed and excel. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, sniper forward and shooting boost will bring his wrist shot accuracy up to a 96. Now, this is actually a pretty good card. He has elite edges to help out his skating, so he'll feel better with that on. Beauty backhand, which is really dope, and gold make it snappy, which is a great ability for only 4 AP. He's going to have 90 D awareness, 85 stick checking, 90 body checking, so he's kind of like a power forward style player. It says he's a sniper, but... He's more of like a power forward sniper, which is pretty cool. Uh, and, and having these abilities on him is dope as well. Beauty backhand, elite edges, and gold make it snappy. So pretty dope card right there. Next, we're going to take a look at this Chris Pronger card. Now that he's six foot six with 90 speed and excel, really dope right there. Silver truculence, silver off the rush, and silver no contest. Now, you can't swap his first synergy, which is a bit strange. The fact that you can swap out Aaron Ekblad's first synergy, but not Chris Pronger. Kind of weird. Uh, he has defensive boost and shooting boost on his back line. He has gold unstoppable force, silver no contest, silver truculence, really dope power forward card. I might have to get this for my power forward team. He has 89 wrist shot accuracy, which is a bit rough. You know, that, that will go up a little bit with shooting boost, but not much. Still going to be the, that low 90s. 94 body checking is great, 85, uh, 95 strength. 90 stick checking, 95 D awareness, 90 face offs. Throw on defensive boost, that'll be a 94. Really dope abilities here. Silver truculence with silver no contest and gold unstoppable force. Really dope abilities here on this power forward. He also isn't like, he, he, he's not fucked over with a low speed. He has 90 speed in Excel, so that's pretty good. All right, now we got Alex Ovechkin as a defenseman. Six foot three, 238 pounds. Shooting boost and checking boost synergies. He's going to have silver thunderclap, silver back at you, silver truculence, and uh, gold 1T. So this is a good defenseman card. 91 speed and excel, 94 balance as well. You know, throw on offensive defenseman and shooting boost. He has 96 wrist shot accuracy, 99 slap shot power, 98 slap shot accuracy, 97 wrist shot power. 90 stick checking, 85 D awareness for a defenseman. You would like to see that up a little bit. 90 body checking, 94 strength, 90 deking. 
uh, 90 passing, 96 offensive awareness. Pretty dope card here. You know, I, like I said, I've said in my videos before, having Thunderclap mixed with 1T is definitely pretty cool because, yo, you just pass the puck up to the point, he rips a fucking one-timer. He's going to get that one-timer boost from 1T, but also from Thunderclap. So pretty dope right there. Dope card. All right, now we got Brent Burns, man. Six foot five, power forward. So he has power forward synergy and two way forward. So swappable frontline synergies, shooting boost and checking boost. So we throw on shooting boost. That'll get his wrist shot accuracy up to a 92. Still low 90s, but he's got 97 wrist shot power. So that's pretty good. He has some pretty cool abilities here with uh, silver big tipper, silver big rig, silver close quarters, and gold eclipse. So not a lot of cards with gold eclipse. That's pretty cool. I feel like silver big tipper and gold eclipse is kind of a cool combo because he's going to be deadly in front of the net by blocking the goalie, by screening the goalie, and also by being a potential tipper. So pretty cool ability combo right there. I don't know. I'd probably take the Chris Pronger card instead of the Brent Burns card. He's more of a power forward. And lastly, we got Ryan O'Reilly. So he's going to be a six foot one defenseman, two way defenseman and offensive defenseman on his front line, D boost and playmaking boost on his back line. He has some pretty cool abilities here with uh, in reverse, quick pick, seeing eye and gold stick him up. So gold stick him up is my favorite defensive ability in the game. It's only four AP and it really helps out your poke checks. So if we throw on two way defenseman and defensive boost, He's going to have a 99 stick checking and, and close to 99D. Yeah, 99D awareness as well. So that's having 99 stick checking mixed with stick em up is going to be really good. That's what I have on Brock Faber. Now, I, I kept saying that I'm looking for a new defenseman that has gold stick em up to replace Brock Faber, but Brock Faber is a righty and this Ryan O'Reilly card is a lefty. Plus, he has the same speed as that Brock Faber card with 90 speed and excel. But if you don't have like a really good lockdown defenseman, this is the card to get because gold stick em up is so good mixed with 99 stick checking. So if you can get that 99 stick checking activated by activating D boost, he's going to be an insane card. 99 discipline is really good as well. 99 passing is awesome as well. Well, that's with playmaking boost, but still uh, really, really good card here. Really good card. So that's going to be it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. I got the link in the description. I've been streaming there every so often. And we need some more homies in the chat. Those hot first cards were really dope. And that 93 McDavid is insane, especially if you have the team of the year McDavid getting that free upgrade. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. I respond to every single one of my comments. And stay tuned for tonight when I release my video on the female team of the year cards. Once again, it's your boy, Tony Sauce. Peace.